Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna do a unboxing of the Motorola G Power Phone. Uh, this phone is for track phone company. Uh, I bought it to mostly use it on Wi-Fi and at home to watch videos, YouTube, listen to music, browsing and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, this phone retails for about $160. Um, I was lucky enough to buy it for $55 on Amazon. I'm gonna post link in description. Price is back to 150, but sometimes they do have sales and the price drops to 50, 60 dollars, which is a steal for this kind of phone. So let's go over the specs before I open the box. Uh, this phone has 4G LTE, so it doesn't have 5G yet. Uh, it's on Android 10.0, 6.4 inch screen, which is pretty huge, but uh, the screen doesn't have any bezels, so it doesn't look that huge. Um, it has up to three days of battery life, which is really freaking awesome, because most of the phones I use, they don't even last a day, so three days seems awesome. I believe it has 5,000 milliamp battery, which is huge. Um, then it has Dolby stereo speakers, which is also good. Wi-Fi capable, of course. Internal storage is 64 gigabytes on this. Most of the budget phones come with 32 or even 16, so 64 is a big upgrade. Plus, you can use the SD card, I believe, up to one terabyte. And um, so, yeah, uh, oh, it's actually 512 gigabytes, it says uh, right here. So SD card up to 512 gigabytes. And then this phone also has something really cool. It has a triple camera on the back. So it has, it has, I believe, wide angle and a micro angle and then regular 60 megapixel camera. And then it also has a 60 megapixel front camera, uh, which is pretty awesome also for the price. And then it has water repellent design. Um, I don't think it's waterproof. It just means if you, you know, if you're in the rain, it's gonna repel the water, but I don't think you can, you know, put it inside the water. Um, then it has octa-core processor, which is a pretty decent processor, especially for the price. Bluetooth 5.0, so it's on the latest 5.0. And um, that's about it. So let's open the box and see how it looks. Hopefully it's not gonna be too big and too heavy, but I do do think it's gonna be heavy because of that battery and the huge screen. But let's see. All right, let's take the phone out. Actually, it doesn't feel that heavy. Uh, my my daily phone is a, a iPhone 8 Plus, and this doesn't seem heavier than the iPhone 8 Plus. Maybe even a little bit lighter. I haven't checked the whole weight. I'm gonna do that in the review when I when I do the actual review of the phone. This is just unboxing. But as, but as you guys can see, it has those beautiful triple cameras on the back with the flash. It does look nice. This is the fingerprint sensor, which I used on few Motorola phones. I actually like it. I know some people complain because it's not on the display or, or on the front, but I actually do prefer it because when you put your, um, let's say your phone is like this in your pocket, you put your hand in to take it out, your finger immediately goes on that back spot, you turn it around, it's already unlocked. Uh, so I do like the finger uh, fingerprint sensor on the back. And um, so let's see. And yeah, as I mentioned, this phone doesn't have any bezels so it's it's mostly screen and you guys can see the front camera it's on the actual screen which I don't know how I feel about that uh, I'll do more about that in the actual review um, and then you guys can see on the back has a USB 3.0 um, no I'm sorry USB C charger USB C charger and then it has the speakers um, so it does have it looks like it only has one one speakers and they're on the bottom. Honestly, I thought it was gonna come with two speakers, but since I did say it's stereo, but maybe it does have two speakers, but they all, they, both of them are located on the bottom. 
Um, so yeah, let's start it up and see how the screen looks. Hopefully there's some juice left. Yep, there is. And yeah, as you guys can see, the, not really, not many basils, except a little bit on the, on the bottom. But you guys can see that camera. I don't know how uh, annoying that's gonna be. Um, I never had a phone which had a camera on the, on the actual screen. And uh, Motorola also makes phones which are not, don't have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of different apps and stuff like that that you don't want. That's why I prefer them. Um, so let me just finish setting it up. And, um, well, you, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the, I don't know why it's making the call, weird. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use it for about a couple weeks. It's so weird, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it for a couple weeks and then I'll do the actual review. But let's see what else came in the box. So you got the little, um, some kind of manual. And then, there you got a quick start guide. Then you have the charger. Looks like a looks like a pretty big brick. Cable looks longer, which is good. And then what else is there? And then you have the track phone thing. I'm not gonna go over that. But um, yeah, that's that's it for the unboxing. Um, so in, uh, in, I'm gonna post the actual review in uh, one to two weeks once I use it. I'm gonna use this a lot, so it's gonna be a very honest review. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.